Welcome to another episode of the Building Bridges Gateway program coming to you from A9 TV Istanbul. And uh, we are broadcasting in cooperation with uh, WTPN in American Network. Our goal is to bring peace, love and brotherhood to all mankind regardless faith, race or nationality. And today we have a very distinguished guest from Israeli and please Oktar uh, introduce uh, our guest. Yeah, we have two very distinguished rabbis from Israel, Rabbi Yeshayahu Hollander and Rabbi Ben Abrahamson. Rabbi Yeshayahu Hollander, at present, uh, Rabbi Yeshayahu Hollander is a member of the nascent Sanhedrin and Associate Justice of the Jerusalem Court for Issues of Binai Noah, teacher at a yeshiva and previously CEO at Amot's Logistic, Log Logistic Systems. He taught logistics at the Rikanari Graduate School for Economics at Tel Aviv University. He graduated from Hebrew University, where he completed the Master of Science in Theoretical Physics. Rabbi Hollander, welcome. Thank you. Shalom. Shalom. Greetings. Um, I'd like to start all these sessions where we deal with interfaith with a prayer to the Almighty God that the these sessions, this particular session together with all the other sessions, do help to create uh, understanding and uh, mutual appreciation between members of all faiths. And I would like to add a, another particular prayer for the um, uh, health of my grandson who is in the intensive care unit. Inshallah. Thank you. Inshallah. Inshallah. May Allah yeah. give Shifa health Thank you. to him, inshallah. Inshallah. And our, another distinguished rabbi, Rabbi Ben Abrahamson, mm -hmm. and he's well known actually in Turkish public, and like Rabbi Hollander. <laughs> rabbi Ben Abra Abrahamson is a historian and the consultant of Jerusalem Rabbinical Court provides studies in matters concerning Islam. He has started this position in 2004 and presently carries on. Rabbi Ben Abrahamson is also the director of the Comedy for Historical Research in Islam and Judaism. He has started this position in 2008 and presently carries on. Rabbi Abrahamson, welcome and shalom. Thank you very much. Uh, shalom. Thank you very much to be here. Good to Marshall. be here. It's a pleasure and honor to have you here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, now we will have uh, some questions for you. Yes, I'm starting uh, with the question. First question is, uh, what's your opinion of the uh, developments in the Arab world first, and uh, how do you see the role of Turkey in solving the problems in the Middle East? What do you think? Well, the developments are the very good. The developments are a sign of Messiah. We have in our tradition, we have a statement relating to the texts in the Bible which describe the Messianic age as in with, with metaphors and the these are trans understood by our sages to be metaphors and not the, not the lion will lie with a, a lamb but it, it to be in a metaphorical sense and that basically nature will not change but what will change is the way humans behave, the way people behave. The change will be that there will be no more subjugation, that people will be free. And in that sense, what the Arab Spring, what is called the Arab Spring, the changes in the Middle East, is very good. And it is a source of hope and a, a sign that we are coming closer to the Messianic age. And uh, from my, what I know from Rabbi Abramson and from my Muslim friends, uh, in, in uh, Muslim theory, um, you say there is no compulsion in religion. Yes, yes. And uh, while they are under dictatorships, there may be all sorts of compulsion, but in a free society, there is no compulsion. And that's where we seem to be going, hopefully, that this right. trend will continue. Uh, so I think that this is uh, very good uh, for the particular societies involved and it is very good for the development of the world towards a time of Messiah. Uh, well, I can't speak on a global sense, but I, I uh, can speak in, in, the, in the research that I've done and the people that I've contacted. Uh, I see there's a, a tremendous thirst and a, an interest in, in, in what's, what's happening, uh, how to see beyond the events that are going on um, 
a person turns on their uh, television or they open up the internet, they'll see uh, battles, they'll see fighting, and uh, people are trying to make sense of this. They're trying to see beyond it and, and see what is this all uh, meaning. And uh, I think the, the Torah has always taught the Jewish people to seek uh, the hand of providence, the hand of Allah, uh, in, in everything. Uh, and even in these events, we, have, we see that this is, uh, the, the world is being fashioned and shaped uh, and being, made prepared, uh, being prepared for the coming of Messiah. And what is the role of Turkey in, uh, the, uh, in these events? Well, Turkey is unique that it, uh, for, for hundreds of years, it uh, um, uh, involved itself in, in the entire region. So it has an experience which is unparalleled by any other, other country. Uh, it has a tremendous amount of history, uh, experience, uh, and in, the, in recent years, uh, there's been a tremendous uh, revival and, uh, and an awakening happening in Turkey uh, of, of devout believers and uh, uh, believers who are, are truly trying to emulate uh, the, the, the characteristics of the Prophet, peace be upon him, uh, in, in kindness and in seeking peace and uh, seeking brotherhood among all believers.